Hello everyone. So today I am going to talk about how to you how to link GNU plot with C and Fortran. So uh, for that you uh, your uh, in your uh, Ubuntu operating system or in your you are in your Windows operating system you need to install the C and Fortran uh, in for Windows and for G for uh, Ubuntu you need to install GCC and G Fortran. So uh, I I uh, assume that you have already installed that thing. And let's start with uh, first. I will start with link by start by linking GNU plot with C. So for that, I need to write a small C code. So I use VI to write C code. Uh, and so so in VI, you, if you want to write anything, you just you need to press I. And if you, this is basically the writing mode. And if you uh, want to go in the visual mode, you need to type ESC and then V. So it is the visual mode. So then again, if you want to go to the writing mode, you need to write types ESC and then I. So now we are in the in uh, in uh, writing mode. Now write us let's write a C code. So the standard procedure is include stdio dot h, and then I will uh, write a function. So then basically I will start the second bracket as basically this uh, standard procedure. So now I will I will use the file star command and then uh, basically what I am trying to do here is uh, this. So I will use a function uh, p uh, open and along with the minus persist. So that basically it will it will allows us to talk to a process as if it we uh, are writing to a file. The GNU plot process is started with uh, minus persist, persist uh, so that when the program is done, the plot stays up on the screen. So that basically it do, does. So let's try it. So the GNU plot is equal to p open. Uh, so this is basically a function. So uh, this is uh, this acts like uh, just like writing it in, into a file. So let's write it and then uh, I will just show you. And then this is this persist command. So it will help to help the plot, uh, plot to stays up in the screen and then in right mode. Okay. Back it close and then semicolon and then if GNU plot is not equal to null a p r i a print f GNU plot then you just need to write the usual uh, plot command in this uh, in this part. So let's I will I'm going to plot exponential minus of x square with smooth let's say smooth frequency with boxes. So this is basically the standard GNU plot command and then at last you need to write this slash n for new line and then this and then close this and then uh, again semicolon and let's close this uh, second bracket. So this is basically the shortest program to link GNU plot with C and then uh, save this program and then just uh, compile this program by using GCC and as you see it has compiled compiled and then dots so if you type ls as you can see this executable is created and then dot slash a dot out so you will see the plot in the screen okay so uh, I need to to edit something it's giving me some mistake okay okay so i have used uh, two times this thing so i need to i need to remove this with so smooth frequency with boxes so now let's compile it again so it is compiled and then dots less out so as you can see this plot has come so this is basically is easiest way to link gnu plot with c and this is how you can uh, basically link GNU plot in C programming. So now let's, uh, so this is in C. Now let's write a code in Fortran. So how to link GNU plot in Fortran. So let's see. So, uh, okay. So for Fortran, we need to write uh, program. So let's say test and then implicit none, sorry, implicit none. And then you need, don't need to write anything because uh, we I am just showing you the easiest program. You can just you can easily modify it according to your choice. So what you need to do is basically 
you need to call the system so this is a system command so call system then bracket then gnu plot minus p test dot gnu so now let me tell you what is this test dot gnu so test dot gnu is nothing but a gnu plot script so you need to write the script outside this code so after saving this program i will write the gnu plot script so if you don't know how to write a gnu plot script then i have already uploaded a video on writing gnu plot script so you can uh, go to my channel and you can have a look on that so uh, the link will also also be given in the description so uh, so this is basically the command so the gnu plot script you need to write just save this program and let's write this gnu plot script so here also you can learn about this gnu plot scripting so let's set x range so this gnu plot script is basically a set of gnu plot commands written in a dot uh, gnu file uh, so let's see minus 5 to 5 and then plot the same function exponential minus x square smooth frequency with boxes right so let's see so now let's run this program by lighting gng protran file dot f90 so dot slash a dot out okay so uh, i need to check because i think there is the spacing problem yeah so we need to give a space here okay so i need to use gedit i think because otherwise it will be not possible here so let me just close this and then let open let's open in it in gedit so we need to give a space here and save it and let's layer this uh, run this so g port run and dot slash edit out so as you can see here also this uh, this nice uh, curve is created uh, using Fortran. So here I, I have showed you that uh, how to link GNU plot using Fortran. In Fortran also you can link in G, link GNU plot. So this is how you can link GNU plot in C and Fortran. So uh, so thank you for watching this video. So if you like the video, please share it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for supporting me. Thank you.